Hi beautiful people, welcome back. Hope everybody is doing fantastic wherever you are in this world. First of all, let me just say this. If you do hear thunder, we're having a huge storm here down in the south. I apologize if it gets too noisy. So hope everybody had a wonderful week and has some exciting plans for the weekend. Let's just get straight into this video. I'm going to be talking about without a crystal ball who I feel is drowning and trying her hardest to gain credibility. Before that, my usual disclaimer, please do not take what I say as fact. Feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusion. Since Katie Joy found out and made the announcement that TLC will continue their show with the sister wives and that Christine will be back, she was not happy at all, in my opinion. She actually went ballistic and she came up against so much backlash to which she decided to double down on Christine and try to portray Christine in a very negative light. So much for having Christine's back. She has been constantly posting about Christine and finally she brought her mother, Christine's mother, into the picture because in my opinion, it wasn't working for her associating Christine with a second, third, fourth, fifth cousin. So as per usual, Katie Joy hit below the belt and in my opinion, want to get a reaction and boy, does she want Christine's attention. She also mentioned that she gave advocates her word that she would expose more stories of the AUB. So she actually premiered a video with this lovely lady named Emily who is an amazing human being from first impressions and to her and I can say that because of her spirits and especially her attitude. In general, she didn't come across as judgmental or condescending. I absolutely enjoyed listening to her and the most important thing to me was that she didn't engage in Katie Joy's negativity towards the sister wives because at the beginning of this video that she premiered, she put in the clip of how Robin Brown was actually being counseled by Emily's dad, who is now the leader of this church. And when Katie Joy did question Emily about the situation, when her dad was counseling Robin, she had nothing to say because she couldn't say anything because she didn't know what they were talking about. Joy holds herself in such a high regard that she's this reporter slash journalist slash advocate but she did a huge injustice to herself with this interview she looked so bored at times it was so distracting because it looked as though she was trying to do something else while interviewing emily and at one point she gave out this huge sigh like she was so annoyed or like emily wasn't playing according to what she needed her to be saying about the browns because every time the browns came up she had like this huge grin on her face to say well yes we're getting into what i need to talk about and who i need to vilify Hi. also during the interview they spoke about racism and kj was pointing out how racist the browns are some of the kids who have become more liberal have expressed that they've had challenges in their families because their siblings are racist and their parents are racist or whoever and some of the fans just don't believe it and this is what i despise about katie joy she treats the brown like they're the leaders and they should be persecuted and done so by the masses and if done so they will no longer be the aub which in my opinion is so wrong katie joy just wants them off television and they spoke about mccalty how her now husband was received or should i say wasn't received very well and KJ tried to come across as this concerned, empathetic person. And I absolutely refuse to fall for that bullshit because let me turn your attention to a comment from none other than the wannabe advocate, Katie Joy. And as you can see from this screenshot, she had this negative thing to say about McCalty, which states that she is a pathological liar. Why would she say that and with such confidence? To which Emily has so much empathy towards the kids especially she had nothing negative to say about any of the kids and i think that was even more cringe for katie joy then emily explains how hard it is to leave this way of life yet katie joy never ever mentions that when she talks about the sister wives take a listen to a clip where katie joy says that she has people in the aub it's I just... have people that are still in the AUB that watch this channel and they will comment and they will say, we don't shun people. <laughs> they will say everyone is welcome. 
I had someone tell me that they went to the church a baby a year ago and they were like followed the entire time. I've always told you guys, I listened very carefully to Katie Joy's wording. And that to me is wording that is off. Why would she say that she still has people in the AUB? And then tries to walk it back by saying they leave messages or they leave comments. It's just weird. Does Katie Joy have people working on her behalf, actually doing research for her by actually going to these churches and seeing what happens and reports back to Katie Joy? I would never expect anybody to put themselves in danger on my behalf. At the end of the day, we're talking about Katie Joy. As I said, she kept on interrupting Emily and cutting her off. And this is the red flag which made my skin crawl, gave me chills. I love being a wife and a mother. Right. I would also like to figure out what does Emily like? What does Emily want? What could Emily be if well, I... I have I've already decided we have plans. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're gonna become an advocate, I decided. In my opinion, Katie Joy wants to take control of Emily. Pay attention to the red flag. Katie Joy will make her life miserable. Katie Joy does not work well with anyone. And she will work Emily to the bone and just to profit off of her. Go and arrest her. Do not do anything of that sort. And when I say Emily, run. I mean run as far as you can for your own mental health and for your own well-being. She doesn't need Katie Joy to be an advocate or to report back to. She was such a pleasure to listen to. I completely enjoyed listening to her. She showed no judgment, showed a lot of empathy. She spoke about her experiences and she had nothing negative to say about the sister wives. I commend her for that. Katie Joy, in my opinion, is doing a huge disservice by claiming that she's an advocate. She's fighting for these kids, these women, taking down her patriarchy. It has always just been about the money for her. It was proven recently to what she has done to Christine Brown. Each and everyone that I've listened to has come to their own come to Jesus moment. Not one person has ever come forward and praised or thanked KJ for helping them get out of this cult or religious sect that they were being brainwashed by. KJ needs to do her own research on what a true advocate does and then she will know that in order to receive the respect and accolades, it takes a lot to be involved and it takes a lot of work in which Katie Joy does not want to put in the work. So to finish this, the whole reason for Katie Joy doing this video was to make people aware that what she was reporting is the truth. Yes, absolutely, it may some of it may be true, but at the end of the day, you're not doing anything to help them. You're taking their trauma, you're taking their pain and you're profiting off of it. That is the truth. So by you bringing in Emily and interviewing her from a survivor's perspective, that does not give you any more credibility than you had before. Because this AUB is so vast. There's so many churches, there's so many members. So you're just focusing and picking apart one family that's on television. You say you speak to survivors every day you speak. Why don't you put a plan in place to actually, if your heart is so within helping these people, these mothers, these children, get off your ass. Stop being a keyboard warrior. Stop being this petty woman that posts about brothers, mothers, aunties, uncles, all that there. Work with your local officials. Try, put your foot forward to helping, actually helping these people. So miss me with this whole thing of bringing on survivors for them to tell their stories like you interviewed Emily and telling her experience. Just so you can gain favor and credibility, but by using their stories and gaining financially from their pain, suffering, trauma, and also maybe misleading them that you are there for them. Another thing that always sticks in my mind, and it made a lot of sense, when KJ mentioned in a live she did with Nonsense on the Web, she stated that the reason she takes all these stories, and specifically Mavon McRae's story, is that she knows that the mainstream media would pick it up because a lot of journalists follow her. And if they pick it up, in turn, KJ gets the credit and recognition. 
gain notoriety, gain more followers and all that good stuff without her having to leave her house. How much longer is KJ going to be harassing and singling out Christine? And why Christine and not the other sister wives? Is it because Christine is related to the past leader of the AUB? So in KJ's eyes, that makes her popular. And we all know how Katie Joy dislikes women that are popular. Or is it because she refuses to apologize to Katie Joy's BFF, Christine's aunt, Kristen Decker? Or maybe it's just because KJ cannot handle the fact that Christine has found happiness, success, and holds no grudges. It's all just left to be seen. But before I end this off, let me leave you with a good laugh. Now, you know, Katie Joy always says that she belongs to Mensa and she's so well educated and she's so intelligent. And look how fake she is. We were taught how to be prepared to run from the school because they were going to show up. The government was going to show up and line us all up and administer the mark of the beast. And so we were taught to be scared and fearful of everything all the time. The mark of the beast. What is that? So at some point we're all going to be chipped. And if you get the chip, you will not, no matter what, you will not get into heaven. Wait, and I, like a microchip? No, Katie Joy, a potato chip. Like a microchip, the mark of the beast. So everyone, not everyone, because obviously the righteous people won't get it. Now, who else doesn't think that Katie Joy played that part? She faked being totally unaware of mark of the beast and didn't you also say that she's been in contact with emily for quite some time and obviously they've spoken about all the terms and what stands for what so she's acting as oblivious to this whole situation of mark of the beast like she's so shocked katie joy is fake as fuck i'm sorry you could have seen that from a mile away so i suggest you get off christine's tit and find your own way now so you guys, that's it. Hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Please be safe out there. Be kind to one another. And don't forget, make good memories. Bye guys.